another video and of course i'm coming to you looking very cute and very sexy and very nice i've put so much effort and guys how do you think about my hair my hair is so pretty what do you think and i'm pretty too so yeah if you haven't hit the subscribe button please hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section so today's video is such an interesting video that's why i'm so much interested in how i look too today i'm talking about my favorite kenyan snacks and yeah i'm just going to mention to you show it to them and i want to show you and tell you and disclaimer that there are so many other snacks in kenya but i just decided to pick the ones that are not so common and the ones that are not so obvious for example like popcorns like crepes i love potato crepes i love popcorn movie nights you know i love so many things so yeah and i'm gonna start with my favorite my favorite favorite because all of these are kind of my favorite and yeah bites guys this one uh, there was that point in time that i was really i was really obsessed with this bite this one is 10 shillings kenyan shillings and i just want to tell you that all these snacks are under one dollar so they're very cheap snacks below one dollars and yeah this one is just barbecue sauce flavor um that is how it looks like and inside is just like that and i love them hmm So, um, if you're a Kenyan and you've never had these snacks, give it a try. Most of these snacks, I usually bought for children. And I just love children's stuff. Or maybe I never went through my childhood. So, yeah. That was my first snacks. And please, snacks are not healthy, okay? These are just to treat yourself and to have fun. And to keep your mouth busy. <laughs> hmm... My snacks number two, ground nuts. Nigerians, I know you have ground nut soup. We have all types of ground nuts. So I bought the ones that have been removed the cover and that have been roasted. And yeah, this one is also a very good snack. And I love it, guys. Snack number two. Guys, did you know that Indomie can be taken as a snack? I didn't know until when I watched a certain video of Diana Marwa and she mentioned that. And so I thought I should try. I'm used to cook, just cooking Indomie, like boiling them and such stuff. But today I want to try like eating it as a snack. And I know this is my favorite snack video, but I'm also experimenting. And yeah, it's not bad. Hmm. interesting it is chewable guys so give it a try if you haven't so yeah i kind of love it hmm kenyans kenyans this do you know this if you know this comment down below in the comment section i feel like it's only lawyers who will guess what this is but we call this mugombero <laughs> in my language i don't know if it is luya or swahili or just damn time but yeah it was kind of spoiling but i love this ever since i was a child while traveling in the vehicles you would see people selling this and i just knew it is something people eat but i hear it is good for the people who want to boost their libido it's not it's not like i want to boost mine but yeah rumor says that <laughs> maybe i will google like that and see if it, anything can show up in google otherwise i do not know the english term and yeah, i just know it as this guys this hair is heavy okay let's put it here i just know it as this and nothing else i just know it as mgombero so yeah next snack <laughs> 
this is called sim sim i think i've watched a nigerian videos cooking videos and i've seen them having this let me know in the comment section if you know how or just tell me how you call it in your place if you've ever seen it but we call it sim sim this way it is made up i think these are sesame seeds i think so so they are made out of these seeds you how can i explain this it's like you are cooking sugar until it is turning black and then you add this and then you mix them together and then you start rolling them while it's still hot it's kind of a process but yeah most of the people mix this they mix it with groundnuts but this one doesn't seem to have groundnuts but yeah hmm This one wasn't really dry, so yeah. Let me know in the comment section too if I have misnamed these seeds, but I think they are sesame seeds, so yeah, guys next snack this one is the favorite children's snack because it's just as colorful as it is eating this is like you're eating nothing they're just being absorbed by your saliva and yeah i love my teeth that's so white so yeah hmm. they are called um, they even have no name you just go to the shop and say nipeyo <laughs> nipeyo means give me that but when i was a child there were um, these specific ones but the rounded shaped ones with different colors yellow green if you know them comment down below but yeah i do love this one they are salted and as i told you snacks for me is just something to keep my mouth busy like these ones my god guys do you remember this if you are a kenyan and you grew up here this was so much common when we were children in the 90s in the early 2000s you know the little little biscuits and yeah i really used to love them one one of these used to be one bob so i know this this one is just 10 shillings most of these things are 10 shillings maximum except the indomie this one is the most expensive it is 30 bob but yeah i only ended up uh, spending ten one dollar let me know if you used to eat these things when you were young this is a tea between a very nice tea between mm. i'm reliving my childhood guys and the last and last snack is chevda. Most Kenyans are obsessed with this. It is a chevda snack. If you, you've never heard of it, now I tell you. I do not know how these ones are made. Maybe I should Google. They're kind of hard and spicy. You can't eat too much of this. But they are very addictive, to be honest. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Let me know your favorite snack in whichever country you're from in the comment section below. If you're a Kenyan too, let me know what's your favorite snack that I've mentioned and the ones that I haven't mentioned. And please know the obvious ones like crepes, potato crepes, and all of that. I also love the Swahili snacks like the Kashata and the Mabuyu. Maybe I should show you the ones. I don't have them here, so let me get them. So yeah, I'm back. This is Kashata. They look like this. They come. They usually come in different color. This particular one is kind of reddish, maroonish. But yeah, you can buy them in pink and yellow. These ones originate from coast, and they are made from. They are made with coconut. Um, coconut what is it? 
coconut crumbles or something like that and they're really sugary so yeah and mabuyu the most famous one this one come in a variety of colors to orange this is this is kind of indigo this is kind of blue there is a red one there is pink they're just different colors and these ones are the originate from the coast too and i love them they're called mabuyu I don't know if you can see but yeah that is it for this video guys let me know in the comment just as i said and yeah i really love the cachata i was so addicted to it i ate it for the first time when i went to cost early this year but yeah nice memory and yeah bye guys thank you so much for watching thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you